Hello ladies. I have a fabulous card for you today. This is just adorable. I love it. This is a circle two pocket card and I'm going to show you how to make it. And I have a matching envelope. Join me in my craft room as we make this today. Okay ladies, I decided to take this because I Wanted, have wanted to do one of these cards and I thought well maybe somebody else would and I know there is a video out there but I wanted to have an easy way to do this. You need a seven and a half inch circle so I pulled out my handy dandy ruler I went into my um, kitchen and I started measuring and actually one of the plastic plates that is Zoe and Remy's works it's seven and a half inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it and yes, I will have to cut this out, but that's okay, because when you see what happens with it, it won't matter that I've hand cut it. I'm going to hand cut it, and then it has to score it, and I will come back and give you the scoring information. Okay, I've got my circle cut, and then what I did was I put this in my scoring tool, and I scored this. It's easier since I have the scoring tool. If you don't have the scoring tool, you might struggle a little bit with the, um, the, the, actually, no, if you used, I don't know if you, I don't know if the, um, trimmer will work or not, but I used my scoring tool. But you scored at one and three fourths, and then again at five and seven eighths. Rotate it 90 degrees, and then score it at two and a fourth. So you have this type of shape with the score lines. All right, let's do the next part. Okay, I forgot to tell you, when you cut this out, cut it just inside the line and it works out fine. For this next part, you're going to need a bone folder and your glue, Tombow glue. All right, so... You want to fold on this side. Oh, you'll need a pair of scissors. I forgot that. And fold on this score line. So you're folding on your score lines. Use your bone folder to get a good crisp fold. And then the one at the bottom. All right. And now we're going to do some cutting. Okay. And you want to cut this line here, but you want to cut it in the ditch. That means right down the center and you stop at that other score line. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we've got it. All right, now we need to do some gluing. So, you wanna put a little bit of glue, and this is the key, just a little dabble do ya. Remember that commercial, Brook Cream? Brill cream, brill cream, little dabble do ya. Okay, and then you're gonna fold this over, fold this over. All right, now this next part is going to go, oops, I did it too soon. This next part goes up, and that will help hold it, all right? So what you want to do is you want to put, and you're going to think that you're going to wrap these back around, but you're not. You're going to put it on the front because you can actually make a third pocket if you want, all right? And so now we're going to take, got my glue to grab there. You're going to run a real thin line up this way and a real thin line up this side. And you want a thin line because if you don't, that means your pocket can't be as big as your um, piece that goes in your pocket won't be couldn't won't be as big as it could be. But I'm having a hard time talking today. All right. All right. There. Now, this gets folded back, and as you see, that's not a pretty cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my scissors and I'm going to trim it so that I get a better cut. That one was good. Must not have uh, cut that other one very good. Might not have been in the ditch. I just trimmed it up a little. Okay, 
there. So now, whoops, closed up my glue. You want a thin line of glue here and a thin line of glue here. This gets folded over. This gets folded over. Oh, I did it on the wrong side. No, no, no. Oh, well. It's supposed to go this way. All right, I'm going to put glue on it, and I'll be using my uh, adhesive remover. So this goes here, like so. And this goes here. I also meant to do some using some um, pattern paper. I may have to do another one and use pattern paper to show you what it would look like with pattern paper. Or I may just do it on this one. All right. Now, I've got to use my adhesive remover here and back here, but I want that to sit a little bit so it can dry. So I'm going to let that dry, use my adhesive remover, and I'll be back with my pattern paper. Okay. Since I didn't do this to start with, um, I had to modify it a little bit, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing, but hopefully you'll watch the whole video and then add your, um, add your pieces beforehand. What I did was I took and I cut a piece, I measured basically from here to here, and it was four and three-fourths, and then I kind of measured the width in here, which was like... Um, one and three fourths. So I cut it a little bit smaller than this piece. It actually works out to be one and a half by four and a half. And then I'm kind of picking this up. I'm going to push this in here as far as I can get it because remember we had that glue at the bottom. All right. I kind of have to have to open it up to get it down in this one side. That's why it'd be so much easier. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to cut it off some. I don't want to cut it too much because then I, it'll end up too short. All right. So I know I can get that in there like so. And I can slide it over some and have it. But I've got to get this angle. So what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use my pencil. And I'm going to trace that arc. And then again, and I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to cut inside that line. All right. And it should go in there. This needs to be a little bit more rounded. So just kind of round that. All right, and then I'm gonna see if this goes down in here. And it does. It's off a little bit there, so I'll trim it a little bit more, get a little bit more of an arc on it, so it looks better. All right, and I'm ready to put this in there. And I'm gonna use the glue because it'll give me a little bit of wiggle room. Um, if you do this ahead of time, and not have to do it like I did. You can um, all right. See how it's sliding. There we go. You can use your um, snail. There. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I want to do this piece. I think I'm going to leave my two corners um, plain. But you never know with me. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got my two sides done. To do this, what I did was I took and I measured the exact size of here to here and here to here. I added a little extra and then I cut it out and I used my plate to trace the top. I cut my arc again and then I just cut down a little bit on each side so that I can slip this down into here. Um, and I, all I have to do now is glue it in place. So, this would be so much easier if, you had, if I had remembered to do it beforehand, but I didn't. All right. So, I'm going to, and this is the tricky part, because you don't want to get your glue on the top. Although, that glue eraser did a very nice job of my 
Um, okay, so there's my card. Now I have to do the other pieces. So um, what I'm going to do here, um, I need to get my eraser back and do it a little bit more because it took off some, but there's still a mark there, so I didn't get it all. Um, I'm going to take my a pen and I'm going to use a darker pen and I'm just going to trace around the edges on this and I'll find a little stamp to stamp probably in there. Let me do that and then I'll show you about the cards. Okay, I'm back and I have my holder, card holder, finished. I took my, I'm going to use, I love pool um, Soft Sky, which is what this is, and Island Indigo. So I took my Island Indigo marker and I drew lines on this. I'm not going to do anything. I was thinking maybe stamp it, but I think I'm going to leave it like that because I like it like that. And just to give you a hint, how I got my lines straight is I took my ruler and I lined up the bottom and I used the sixteenth of an inch marks and I drew my line that way. And I flipped it around, did the same thing here. And to do my arc, I used my plate and just followed that. So that gave me that. Now we're ready to make the piece in the back. And all of the measurements and scoring lines and everything will be below the video, so check down there. I started off with the base of four and a fourth by four. And then the white piece for on the top is four by three and three fourths. And that makes the panel that goes inside here. Um, I tested this back one before I cut so I made sure it would fit. To do this next piece, I used a piece that was three and three fourths by three. And then the white piece was three and a half by two and three fourths. And then I have a little surprise for you at the end. All right. So with that, I wanted to use the Mayflowers bundle. It's not called that. I didn't. I, I think it's falling flowers but the bundle anyway it's this bundle and um, I used this flower in particular because I liked it it was small um, but not as small as that one this one was too big this one was too small that one was just right just like the three bears so I cut out two uh, four of these I stamped them I colored the insides with my soft sky marker and I know many of you are saying how do you not smear it when I color and I haven't used a permanent I go down and the side and I don't touch those lines much at all and so I've never had any of them smear it does take some practice but I do get it alright so that goes down in like that isn't that cute oh I love it I love it love it and I needed a sentiment so I couldn't think of what to use, so I pulled out my jar of love, and I used the hello, and I stamped it in the soft sky. But this isn't finished, because I'm going to show you how I did that flower. I cut out four of them, and I left one alone. The other two I cut right close to the edge, and the reason being when you and there's I have to find the right piece for the bottom All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. here it is I think okay there it is when you put it together correctly, like so, you don't see any of that other flower, <clears throat> excuse me, from the front. It just gives it a little bit more stability. Yeah, it doesn't look real good on the back, but that's okay, you know. So what I did, and I'm going to do this the right way, I'm going to lay this down just like so, so I remember. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take, and I'm going to use my Tombow. Now see, it moved on me. I, 
you want the two that are that form a nice I don't know it just fits better and I just take and I attach it like so then I flip this over and I'm gonna make sure if I've done this correctly this goes on here yes it does so this one you want to put the glue all over so that they stay together all right so then you put this down don't go up too high kind of watch your sides okay then what I did was I flipped it over and like there's a little bit showing here so I took my snips and I just came in and I just gave it a little bit of a trim there there's a piece sticking out of here so there and now you don't see it all right this piece goes in here and there's your card it can be done I will put where's my um, I'm looking for my rhinestones. You know me. There's my bling. Okay. I needed some big ones. I'm going to put a rhinestone in the center of that one. Take this out so I can see what I'm doing. Get it in the center. See? Even that, it didn't go in the center. And put this one here. There we go. I got my bling. <laughs> me and my bling, I know. Oh, I can't wait for the new catalog. There is some gorgeous bling in there this this time. Okay, there's that. But then I told you, watch, because I was a little surprised. This looks cute like it is, but I went a step further. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love this card, and I know you will too. I hope you will give it a try. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope I've inspired you. I thought I would come back and add this. I hadn't done my envelope, but I wanted to show you this is how I color inside my lines, and it doesn't smear. As you can see, and now this is an envelope, so it's not the best stamping because the paper is not quality paper. That's okay because everybody rips it up. But that's all I do is down one side, down the other. And if I need another swipe in the middle, usually I don't. And there it is. It's not smearing. 